All right, and this clip is the first half of the game against HMMS. Um, it starts off with some good possession here right off the kickoff. Good one-touch play. We're playing the way we're facing. We're moving the ball quickly. The attitude at the beginning of this game was pretty good. Um, and we're moving the ball. Pretty, pretty much throughout the game, we're in you know, good possession. Um, this instance right here, there's a number of instances where our center backs have the ball. And you know, we have a number of patterns where the... the the outside backs, Cam and Tyler, in this case, are staying in a wide spot. One of the areas I think we need to improve upon in helping our center backs with their possession um, so they make better decisions is that we drop into a space almost even with them at times to try to re relieve pressure, right? So if you, you know, in this case, Jake's dribbling, he's looking for a pass, he's got pressure on him. This window that, you know, the pass he sh that is on to you is is a tough by the time that's a tough pass by the time the ball gets there this defender probably can try to put pressure on it so what we want to do is increase the dis distance between you um here tyler to drop deeper right almost as an almost as an underlap if you're you know going this direction you can play tony right you can probably play um ethan or you know garrett here across the field and what that does is draw if this defender does come with you is it opens up a ball into billy i think we got to recognize these moments where our outside backs, or our center backs are being pressed, and our outside backs don't need to stay in their, their, their traditional position or their normal position. They need to come back basically flat, flatter with the ball, flatter with the play to allow um, us to play out. And you'll see Garrett do that at times. He'll drop in between the center backs to try to create space between him and his defender. And I think this is an instance where um, Tyler could do the same and we can easily play out. It's only one guy. But it's you know it's it's tight. We nearly lose the ball here. We do actually do a decent job here of keeping possession, right? I just wanted to highlight it as a, as an instance where you know see in other instances where we don't do a good job, uh, but it's tight. You know, we possibly could lose the ball there. It's it, you know players are getting pressed. Good job, job by Tyler to, to see the pressure and turn away from it. And again, we switch up one of attack, which is good. Probably need to continue there, Garrett, but he ends up getting to the ball where I where expected him you know to. And this is a good effort here by Rafael to play into a, a deep. From a, of a deep spot, you know, a long ball in over the top. It doesn't necessarily come off, come off this time, but what you'll see is, you know, from the start from this game, is that HMMS is only really defending with one high. They're basically playing a, playing a 4 5 1. You know, we've experienced this now for basically the last two games um, against San Diego and then before that, Cincinnati. And really, we got to start breaking them down with different types of balls than we're used to playing. Right, a, a long ball over top will will definitely stretch them on out. You know, this case it doesn't you know beat the last defenders, but the idea is good. This execution is off. We probably could have played short, but we that plays into their hands sometimes when we're playing short. Let's let's break them up with a good long ball, um, and win the second ball so we can. In this case, we don't necessarily do, but you know, you can see from the beginning we're playing quickly. We're moving the ball. There's a couple instances now that I think we need. To, we'll see in this game and in other games now where the outside backs have to do a better job of supporting the center back so that they don't force the ball into the midfield um, and we're able to keep possession basically by dropping back in line with them and creating more distance between uh, you and the, 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 the forwards that are defending you. Um, and so I just wanted to highlight that as, an, an, as a pattern now for us and then obviously point out that direct play is effective and is on for us when teams start to sit back into a 4-5-1 um, shell. All right, in this clip, you'll just see some really, uh, really quick clip of us just doing some one-touch passing that leads to crossing the box, which is great. And you'll notice the players involved here are often playing one-touch. Um, and so, I, so I just want to highlight, you know, who's playing, you know, who's involved, and the the style of play that works, you know, for us. Uh, one-touch here, again, one-touch, good interplay, right? One-touch, and then another service into the box. It really breaks them down. Now, it's, the service isn't the greatest. It's not to the back post. It's, you know, no one's able to challenge. But just want to quickly highlight, you know. What, what one touch passing can do for us when players are thinking quickly and moving quickly and and, and uh, breaking the team uh, breaking their defense down, you know, in back and out, basically create space for us, create service opportunity for us, and we need to, we need more of that from both sides of the field as well as in the midfield. In this clip, you just see some good possession that leads to a shot attempt on goal or a shot attempt that gets blocked. Um, look, good long ball, right? Putting them under pressure here in the midfield off a goal kick. And now it's one and two touch passing. Good, uh, good penetrating pass here. Good positioning by Jack against you know on the outside of the outs uh, outside of his defenders. You know we have good spacing one, two, three, which is something I look for in the midfield. 
you know, we do have free players, but they want to be, we want to create as much width and, and depth basically between the diamond and the midfield. If you, if you count the scene as well as the, as the top of the, the diamond, we have Garrett at the back, you know, Ethan on the outside and Jack, and this is good penetrating pass. We're able to break them down. Now we're in on back, you know, in the back four running at them. I think Yassine does a good job here of just basically holding up his run and trying to get a, a wall pass, which works off here. So a good quick passing. Again, working the other side of the field. Everyone's thinking quickly, which is great. Good one-touch passing. You know, possible service opportunity. We decided not to. Now Ethan has a chance to penetrate. Okay, you can see how many players are behind the ball, but a good ball in, into the into a Ford's feet, we're able to lay off and get a decent effort on goal, a de decent effort which gets blocked. So I just wanted to highlight again the quick passing, the penetrating pass, you know, by Garrett, which is good. The spacing in the midfield, which was good, and then once we do break pressure, the interplay. It's one touch, moving the ball quickly from you know from the central to the left to a wide zone. We work the ball wide. It is not on for us to get get service there. We work the ball round again, looking to penetrate. Now Ethan serves the ball in the box. Billy's you know working onto the onto it, and Jack again reads the play and is able to work off the ball into Billy and get a shot. You know could have gotten through. Would have been, probably been on goal. And I think it's a good effort, um, a good play overall by us. Again, another clip here, just showing our passing and attitude at the beginning of the game. Again, it was really good. We are moving the ball quickly, so I'll let it run through. Uh, it's their throw. We win the ball quickly, and you can just see you know, the movement of the ball is really good here from side to side. We don't waste time. Players are inter you know playing one touch or two touch, not advancing the ball with dribbling. We're kind of you using the space wisely. Cam decides to play across the you know, grid again, or across the field again, and then it's back. We're not wasting time moving the ball between players. You can see how deep they are. Look how much space we have in our own half to play. Only one guy really is putting a little bit of pressure. Everyone else is sitting back. So we really, we have to create space. And by Garrett dropping in deep and basically playing with a three-back system here, as opposed to staying in the midfield, it basically turns into a 3-4-3, three, three, um, where we have Cam and Tyler as midfielders, acting as midfielders, Jack and Ethan, or the center uh, center midfielders, and, and then Daniel obviously and Billy and you know, Cena up top. Uh, it stretches, it makes that diamond in the midfield, or at least the, the triangle in the midfield, much larger. Okay, so it makes it harder for them to decide who to defend. You can see them trying to figure it out. Um, probably not the you know the best pass here, but it's a, a good attempt. I think Jack was on here, um, but it gets cut out here. But we're able to win the ball quickly, and we're playing quickly once we win it again. Here probably should have switched Daniel, right? I think the ball to Billy or even the Tyler would have been on. I don't think you see that defender at the last second there in front of Billy. You know, it's not a bad idea to get the ball wide. The idea to get it wide is right, but I think Cam is either on because we haven't attacked this side of the field yet. Um, we just were on this side of the field with um, Billy a second ago or Tyler a second ago. Um, and so either a ball to Tyler or a ball to Cam was probably the best pass in this situation. The, the weight is wrong. The accuracy is wrong. But we're in good spots to win the ball back. All they have is a you know a single attack, basically one player trying to take us all on, which is not going to be effective. Good one touch passing again, move the ball around, and again Garrett's ideas here are good, but he needs to go to the other side of the field. It's just too congested. We just want it in this area. Another opportunity where we should just switch the point of attack. Just, the spacing is great too. Look how many players are basically on this little patch of grass. One, two, three, four, five. Right, too many players in this area. Let's go look to the other side and stretch them out. I think that was what was missing out of this play was that we didn't switch the point of attack um, to, the, to the left side of the field to stretch them out to the uh, one side and then go back again to the right. We, we got to the middle and then we went back to the right. We got to the middle again and we went back to the right. So we need to make sure that we're balanced in our attack and that we're attacking both sides of the field. Um, in this clip, you just see an example of good possession again. Um, that leads to a possible attempt on goal or shot on goal. Good one-touch play, good two-touch play. And th at this point, I think once you beat him here the second time, Daniel, there needs to be a service. He's way behind you. Serve the ball in the box. There's no reason to come, reason to come back. Um, you know, we end up working the ball around. Well, they end up clearing the ball to a player who's in a good spot, you know, in Cam. And this is good service in the box by Cam. He doesn't waste any time. I think the same attitude has to be shown here by Daniel. We got players in good spots and nearly get a goal here. I mean, if you if you take into account all the goals that we've scored so far in the National League and all the attempts that we've had, the, the service into the box has been very dangerous. It's been, you know, very dangerous for us. We've been we've been getting, excuse me, creating a number of chances by by working the ball wide and getting the ball in the box. And I think passing up an opportunity here 
you've clearly beat him, right? So in this first bit, you're kind of half beaten him, right? So I can understand why you would want to come back, but now you have beaten him. He's he's behind you, right? There's no reason, literally no reason, not to serve the ball in the box. You're only going back into pressure, especially now that you've realized, you know, you should have realized now that the other player is coming to help, right? The reason why he went to your back to your left is because number 21 is helping him serve the ball in the box. Yasin is there, Billy is there, Tyler is there, Jack's there. You have one, two, three, four players committed basically to you. That means somebody's open, All right? So the failure, failure to uh, serve the ball in the box there, I think, is, is we, we need to do a better job of you know recognizing the moments when we do create enough space um, and and just serve the ball. I know you have the good left foot. Serve it in the box. Don't no, the attitude here by Cam is what is needed, right? Don't waste any time. We need these opportunities to create you know, create these opportunities to get you know number of chances on goal so we can score. It takes us a while to score. It takes us a number of chances to score. And if we pass up opportunities across the ball in the box, those are missed opportunities where we you know we could have attempted uh, a shot on goal. And you can see what happens when we do serve the ball in the box. It's dangerous. All right, Billy nearly gets to this. Tyler does. And you know, I expect him to hit the target here. Does you know misses it nearly by the far post, uh, just out by, uh, outside of the post. Second time in probably two games where he probably should have hit the target, and we got to work on that technique of hitting a square ball. You know, making sure that it hits the target here. Winston had one. Tyler's had two. Uh, good opportunities from basically the same spot. You know, work on this in in, in uh, practice or on your own on hitting that back post, the back corner of the goal. Right, instead of trying to aim for the near post, basically in this inside corner, aim for the back corner of the goal and to make sure we hit the target, either with your laces, right foot or left, or if you are going to use the inside of your foot, make sure it doesn't curl out of bounds. But overall, it's a good play. I think it's a good one touch, one two touch play. I think Daniel needs to improve. Once he does beat a, a player clearly or creates a window, definitely serve the ball in the box. Um, Cam does has the right ad attitude, and a number of players do have the right attitude in terms of getting the ball in the box. And you can see how dangerous it is, dangerous it is when we do. Um, we create chances. Our goals again in this game, our chances created in this game is by getting the ball in the area, right? And a number of games, the last game against Cincinnati, and, and you know the number of goals in Fullerton against Fullerton, it's serviced into the into the box that gets us our goals. So it's not pass up those opportunities to do that. Otherwise, we're passing up chances to score. All right, in this clip, you'll just see that you know good things happen when we do get the ball in the box, um, and that, you know after last number of clips where we when we do serve the ball in it's good play for us you know good got good opportunities for us just you know a little bit scrappy here but we're you know we're hustling or we're winning the ball you know billy doesn't waste any time here right takes his gives the ball back to ethan ethan gets the ball in the box right there's no attempt here to go 1v1 there's no attempt to you know delay get the ball to somebody you can serve the ball in the box good cross we're able to try to win it Good first time ball by Garrett. You know, decent effort by Jack. Possibly could probably take a touch there to his left foot to shoot first, but I don't mind the first time ball. The player's coming out at him, right? These are chances that we we create because we're putting them under pressure. They go far back now. They are in their own area. Um, we're able to pin them in with good possession. You know, winning the first ball, winning the second ball. But, you know, Dustin does a good job on the goal kick to keep possession for us. We get the ball wide to Billy. Right? He's not looking to go by himself. He's looking to find the next person that can serve the ball in the box, which is when we're in the wide spot, he doesn't waste any time. Get it to the guy who's open. Let him serve the ball in the box. And that's exactly what happens. And it leads to a, a decent effort, you know, possibly a better shot on goal there um, in the end. And I, this is what creates pressure over time. Right? It builds confidence. It creates pressure. It puts them on their heels. We might, we might not score every single one of these, but it, over time it wears them down. And eventually we will start scoring these goals. In this clip, you just see a good series of possession um, and a number of crosses. I think two crosses that lead, you know, decent efforts on on the cross and you know half chances um, to let it run out. You know, they're trying to play out. We're putting pressure on them, which is a key, you know, critical part of our game. Don't let them play easily. You know, force them to play the ball long. We're able to win the first ball, win the second ball, and you can see everyone's. You know, Jack's looking for, for the next pass. He's not wait. You know, looking to dribble himself. He's looking to play. Same same with Cam. We're playing away from pressure. One and two touch could be a little bit quicker, but it's you know you can see how far back they're sitting, so we have a lot of space to play. Um, good ball here by Jake. Good one ball, one uh, one touch here by Garrett, and now you can see he's dropped basically into his a three back uh, three back uh, set here with with Garrett as a right back, Jake as center back, and Rafael as a left back. It's a three four three now. 
good ball by Rafael. This is the diagonal ball that you know possibly is potentially dangerous when we're deep in our own half. But, uh, you know, a ball here is less likely to lead to a goal, so I think this is a good ball. It has the right range. It puts them under pressure. They're not able to win it cleanly. And obviously now Tyler's in a good spot to win the ball. All right, we do the right thing. Go away from pressure. Could probably play a little bit quicker there so he doesn't get the toe, you know, ball toe poke. But we're, you know, you can see that players are in good spots to win the ball. And we're looking to play. Good little slip pass there from Garrett. We're attacking the wings now. This is where we start to get dangerous. We don't waste time. Get the ball in the box. Nassim's nearly gets onto the end of that. They clear the ball. We're on it, pressing it right away. We're not letting them play out. They only have one guy forward, so we're in good spots to, you know, three versus one. We're likely to win the ball and keep possession. Probably not the best ball here by Rafael, but it ends up getting to Yassine. All right, good individual play. Get the ball wide again. Don't waste time. Serve the ball in the box. And as you can see, we're putting pressure on them with this type of play. It doesn't necessarily end up with goals. But it is being dangerous, right? It's as opposed to just working the ball around like we did against San Diego where we're just keeping possession, keeping possession. We're not, the attitude is different in this game where we're, we're looking to test them we're, and we're forcing them to have to defend in their, in, their own, in their own box by putting these balls in the box. And I think the attitude of the players in these positions is don't waste any time. Just try to get in there as best you can to the back post if you can with a driven ball so that we can attack it and put pressure on them. And you can see in this sequence a number of times what ends up happening is that they have to drop deeper and deeper and deeper into their own area, and they're not able to get out. Right? They only have one guy up top. Any ball that they clear, we're winning. We're able to then, re you know, reset our attack and then start to go wide again. You know, get to the ball at the middle, work it wide, back to the middle, other side of the field, or looking to penetrate out wide. Look at the ball. You know, if we can't serve it, we're looking to work, swing the ball around, penetrate as we're doing that. Get the ball wide again, serve it in the box. Right? Win the next down, the knockdowns. You know, win the first ball or second ball. Um, and then obviously they, if they try to clear, we're able to pick up those pieces and continue that attack over and over again. But it's the attitude when we do get the ball wide, we are the most dangerous, especially around the 20 or 30 yard mark. That's when we have to start thinking service, service, service. We cannot pass up opportunities to serve the ball in the box. All right, in this clip, you'll just see, um, you know, good long ball and, and, and decent combination play by our forwards, um, to, that leads to a shot attempt. So I'll let it run through. You know, goal kick, we're playing long. We're winning. We didn't win the first ball. We're putting pressure to win that, get that second ball as we do. One, you know, one touch by Cam is great to find you know, the next guy. Jack, two touches. Great long ball here by Garrett into spaces to put them under pressure. And this is where we need to go 1v1, which is great here by Daniel. Looking to play with you, scene. Now again, good. All right, the shot's not on. We're working the ball back. You know, a decent effort here by Jack. It reminded me uh, of the goal that Yaya Torre scored against uh, Arsenal. I'll bring it up so you guys can see. Similar similar angle. Good little play by them. And as you see, the ball comes works back to Yaya Torre at the top of the box. All right, and he's able to hit the back post. Now, obviously, you know, the, obviously the situation is a little bit different for for Jack uh, as this ball's coming into him, but I think it's the type, same type of finish where you're just basically trying to push the ball or you know pass the ball to the fat back post. He ends up you know slicing a little bit more than he wants to, but it's the same type of finish. So just wanted to show that as a highlight because that just re that just recently happened. I think the game was yesterday, um, and it just reminded me of that same type of finish. But as you can see, you know it's not all just possession in terms of short passes. A good ball in behind by Garrett really opens the team up as well, especially a team that's looking to defend deep. You don't allow them to set up by playing quickly in behind. And then once we do have the 1v1 opportunity, we're looking to combine. Um, Daniel there is working with Yassine. Yassine obviously cuts the ball back to Jack, and Jack's looking to shoot, which is good you know, interplay between our attacking players. Four examples of our um, attack and our attitude during this game, which is, you know, it's been good so far, and you'll see another good example of just the, the speed of play and the, the thinking and the movement off the ball has been good. You know, we've got them stretched out a bit here, so we win the second ball, right? Quick passing, they don't doesn't allow them to get back in because you see they're starting, to, they're starting to, you know, retreat, right? The fours are kind of, you know, up right now, and really quick passing, you know, breaks them here, breaks down their, their transition effort. Good ball in behind you, seen. We'll work the ball quickly. We know the next pass is. Right, working the ball wide, which is good. 
I probably, in this case, we haven't, we don't really use our, our overlapping run, but this is probably one of those, those cases where I think we could have, because his player isn't you know, in a good spot to stop him from getting us good service off here. So, you know, I want to highlight this as an opportunity where we do actually use the overlapping run. We don't normally do, but either a ball, you know, by yourself to slip the ball in for Cam into space. He doesn't have to be a perfect ball. Just put this ball here. He'll run onto it and serve the ball in the box. Um, or you can possibly play Ethan here initially if he had pulled off and took for an in back and through. But, you know, it's probably not on since he's looking to get forward. But in, either way, I think it's good interplay as you can see we have the ball y we have the guys running off of it which is good by i think good by us and we're looking to play underneath probably should play back there billy um it's a tight angle tight space not much really that you could pass to i, I could see why you didn't pass it because you know at, initially daniel's behind this defender as you're receiving the ball but i think now a ball back would be on it's a little hard to see right whether or not daniel was in a good spot but I think turning into pressure, you know, isn't the option. Try to play the way you're facing. And it look because we're in, we're pressing them. We're basically using good possession, spreading them out, forcing them to have to get back and defend with numbers. We're able to win the ball back immediately after they they you know as they attack. Right? They don't have good numbers forward. Right? And we're able to keep looking at this entire half of the field is basically owned by us. Right? Good ball. Sorry, I'm playing a little fast now. Good ball in. By uh, Jack into Yassine, good hold up play. All right, we'll work the ball again and good interplay. And nearly get through. So, I just wanted to highlight you know, the, the, the speed at which we're playing. Definitely, when the moments when they're attacking and they're trying to get back and defend, that's where we have to play quickly and try to penetrate and get beyond them. You know, not rushing our play. Right, making good quality passes, but if we can recognize a moment where they haven't gotten back in and we see a player beyond their midfield line or beyond their initial pressure, you know, let's try to find that player and then break them down from there to force them to really have to retreat because then they'll overcommit. Right? In this instance, we didn't necessarily come off with the combination plays between Daniel and Billy um, or um, Yassine and Ethan, but the ideas were good. And I think we just want to highlight that the speed of play and the ideas and how we're moving the ball quickly and everyone's thinking in one touch and you know playing quickly and running off of each other. And just the, the attitude was great in this game. So I just wanted to highlight another example of that here. Um, just another you know, clip of an attacking sequence here. This is a free kick by Rafael to the back post, which I think is dangerous. You know, it's a 1v1 situation. I, you know, I put my money on Garrett more times than not to win the ball. Um, in this case, he doesn't win it, but, you know, they're not able to clear their lines. Good play, good playing here. As you can see, players are thinking quickly. And, and you know, I, I harp on these, you know, these type of principles often, but it's great to see that no, a number of players in this game were on, right? Ethan's thinking quickly to get the ball to Billy. Billy's looking before he gets the ball to find the next pass. He knows where to go with it. You know, Yassine is looking to play here. He probably should just play a simple pass instead of trying to back heel. But the idea to get it to Tyler was right, right? Because he's looking to get the service from there. He's not, Yassine's not trying to play himself. He's trying to find the next person who can serve the ball in and find a person who has sees the field better than he can, right? And this doesn't necessarily come off, but we're in good spots to win the ball back. They're not able to clear their lines easily, right? It's our ball when the ball comes out. You see how far back they are defend, defending, Um you know, we get a little bit lucky here. I think Jake should probably, you know, turn out the other side of the field. We've, we've attempted attacking this side of the field. The attitude should be, or the, the idea should be, let's let's stretch them out by going the other way. All right, but he plays the ball back in, and a little bit fortunate here that the ball gets through. Um, and we continue playing quickly. One touch, one touch, one touch. It's a great play, right? We don't It doesn't necessarily get to Tyler, but the idea, again, the ideas are great, because if that ball is a little bit more into space, Tyler's in for service. And I think this is what, you know, the team play is what works for us. Everyone's involved. Everyone's moving the ball. There's not one player doing anything special here. It's everyone's involved. And I think here again, Raphael, we got to go the other way. All right, you see what we do, what happens. It's only one guy pressing, right? But I think we could do a better job here of switching the point of attack to Cam as opposed to playing back to the same side we just played on. So, no, you know, the only thing, negative part of this is that we attack the same side a couple times. And we didn't switch a point of attack. And there was maybe one other clip in the beginning of this uh, analysis where I showed the same exact thing happen, where we just kept on pounding basically the same side and we weren't looking to switch. We definitely need to spread them out, 
get them moving away from an area. If we do want to come back, that's fine. But let's at least attempt to go the other direction. So we, we use the width as well as, well as depth um, to, to create more space in between the lines for our players. But overall, again, the attitude of the players is good. Players are looking for the next pass. Everyone's looking to play team ball. And that's what I want out of us, our players on the field, to execute team dynamics, team passing, pass first mentality, get the ball to the next open player, serve the ball into a dangerous area, and we will create more chances and score more goals. Um, another a sequence here where we're attacking because we had a lot of opportunities here. We, you know, in terms of using our possession, where I think we're we're putting pressure on them, and I think the goal was coming. You know, as and you can see over time, it did wear them out, and we we're able to get our goals. But and this is the start of a, the play right here. A good diagonal ball to the to the other side of the field by Rafael to Billy. Excellent. You know, he has the range and pass to do this. Again, the difference between this ball and you know and the previous ball that we showed it in the other clips in this game. And the ball that he played in against Cincinnati and the ball he played from Delaware is his positioning on the field, right? When we're deep in our own area, a diagonal ball across the field isn't, is, is, a more, is a much riskier pass because any knockdowns are there. It basically puts you in range of the goal, right, for them to attack our goal. And so the ball against Delaware last, uh, in, last summer in regionals and then the ball against Cincinnati that, that he played is a little bit riskier pass, a different situation. Whereas these balls, these games, we're, we're now we're at half field. We're just maybe on the other half, other side of half. We're playing into their end across them. These balls, you know, aren't as dangerous, and they're able to put pressure on them because they can't necessarily attack right away from this place. So, wanted to highlight the difference in that type of play. Goodbye, Billy, to play for, away from pressure again. Jack is shielding away from the ball, using his left foot to find the next pass. And this is what we want as we move across the field. Players have got their head up. We can use Garrett to switch, um, but he has time on the ball, so might as well look up to see if he can penetrate. And Yassin does a good job of working off into space. Good little attempt here to scoop the ball to Daniel. Right, We're fighting. We're putting him under pressure. They're having to defend in their box, which is what we want on this type of ball. Nearly get through, and they're having to clear their lines. Right. So I just wanted to highlight you know, a few things there. Again, once we work the ball in a wide spot, again, it's, it's combination play from a wide area. The players are involved. We're attacking the width with our, our play, and then we work the ball around the perimeter of them in an umbrella fashion, basically in this arcing fashion around their pr pressure. And the difference here is that against San Diego, we just kept on moving the ball around them. And in this game, we're, we got our eyes up looking to try to penetrate. You know, we have this pass available to us, but now we have to figure out how to threaten the lines here. And good, you know, checking run here by Yassine. He doesn't waste any time to get the next ball off to Daniel. You know, Daniel's working off of the ball that into Yassine, trying to get in behind. As you can see, he's pointing. You know, they have a good defensive cover there, and we nearly get get onto it, but it's a good play overall. Um, and again, a, a number of examples here in this first half, but this is just continuing the same attitude of passing quickly, moving quickly, trying to penetrate, moving the ball into wide areas, and switching point of attack, everyone getting involved. And I like it a lot. Um, another sequence here in the first half. I'll let it run out. Of uh, us, a combination play. A little awkward here by Ethan, but I think he could use his left foot there. Um, good by Garrett to use his left foot to you know keep the ball away from the defender. Good interplay here by Jack, working the ball in, back, around. In this case, we're trying to pe we penetrate. Good one touch passing by Daniel, and now we're off the races. Now we've broken their midfield down. Now we have a player running in behind their 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 defensive three in the midfield, um, attacking their back four. Good run here by Yassine and a good slip pass. It's not on for the cross possibly. He actually attempts the cross, sorry, um, which I like. I think one of the areas, it's a bit behind him. Again, you don't necessarily have to put the ball on his foot. Just put the ball into space. It's a tough ball. You know, this defender probably has a good angle to block a ball, probably curved into here. So, you know, I can understand why he cuts the ball back. But the attempt is good. I like the fact that the attitude is right. We're trying to get the ball in a dangerous area. You know, good effort you know, here by Yassine to win the ball back. And now in this situation, we need service, okay? Good little combination play to try to get the service. Daniel doesn't give up on the play. And it's right there that, I don't, again, I don't understand the, the Cruyff back into pressure. You've won the ball. Just put the ball in the box. Like, you have, because you Cruyff, I know you can kick it. That's the point I'm trying to make. Because you Cruyff, I know you can kick it. And, a, and a, a, he might block it, right? He, I, I don't mind that happening, or at least... He might have, you know, stopped the service there, but 
now we have nothing. Before we could have had something, now we have nothing. Okay, put the ball in the box. Billy is there. He's expecting it. He sees you wind up. Put the ball in the box. And again, from this position, I, I cannot stress enough. We got to remember these moments. The whole point of these these videos is to see this type of stuff, where just dribble away from this guy and play at Cam and Jack. As you turn this direction, Jack is on. These guys are all keying on you. There's no reason to try to make him here. Where are you going to go? Right. This is this is the stuff that needs to get cut out of our game. Right. All the other players on the field are, are looking to combine. All the other players are looking to play in this situation where they're working. What you saw you seen earlier try to play Tyler. You saw Billy play Tyler. You got to play Cam in this situation. You're going away from goal with no, with two guys on you. Move the ball. And the second effort here, again, I mean, basically you're stuck in this situation. I understand why you're still trying to do it. But you put yourself in this situation. You got to play out. Try to dribble. You'll notice that when you dribble away, these guys will start to loosen up their defending. Right, it's when they start when you start to go at them, they have to be alert. They're not they don't want to get beaten. But if you go away from them, you draw them out. You you release that pressure. They try to run out at you, and you can use your shielding and play away from them, the negative space to get them to create space behind them. As you play this ball backwards, you know, had you dribbled this direction out and played, that opens up spaces now because these guys are gonna start to run out to Jack for you to possibly get the ball back underneath. And I think we just got to recognize that it has to be team play, not individual play in this situation. That's going to get, it's one versus two, your backs to the goal. I mean, the odds are very low that you're going to win, the, win this duel. Play the ball, even in this instance, we have players here in the umbrella. We have all the guys ready and all is basically waiting for a ball to get a, work, the, work the ball around. And I think if we d had done that, I think we would have, you know, had a probably, possibly an opportunity to serve the ball in the box to these guys who are basically 2v2 at the back post. So just wanted to highlight, you know, a number of good, you know, good things out of the play at the beginning of this sequence is that we switch a point of attack, one and two touch passing. I'll just let it run through one more time without stopping. Good little penetration ball here by Rafael. I don't mind that. Oftentimes those balls get cut out, but today it was today it was good, or in this game it was good. Good one touch pass there by Daniel. Good slip pass by Jack. Right, attempt to serve the ball in the box. Don't waste any time. All right, good effort by Yassine. And here, you know, good combination play. You're looking to play here, which is good, you know, and you good good effort by Daniel here to win the ball back, even though he did, you know, probably low percentage for him to get it. But service there. Now we got to go away from pressure. Go away from pressure. Go away from pressure. Play the way you're facing. The principles are there. Cannot stress enough that we can work the ball around to these guys who are waiting for the play for you to get get them the ball. And you know, had we done that, I think again we would have had a better chance of creating something as opposed to basically getting nothing out of it. All right, in this play, it's, um, just not, you know, a good passing sequence here. It could lead to a service in the box. Good switch a point of attack. You know, a good direct play by Raphael here once he, once he gets this ball to put pressure on them, playing behind. It's, these are good balls, right? Puts them under pressure, makes stretches them out defensively, and in the midfield, they have to recover now long distances. And this is how you break down a team in shell, you know, playing in defensive shell. Not a bad effort here by Daniel to create some space for a service, right? You face up. There's an opportunity possibly to play Cam here, or sorry, uh, Brent here. Um, but, you know, you face up and you go to 1v1. One, one one. Decent effort by getting the ball in the box. There's not really anybody there this time. But we're able to pick up the pieces here and keep possession, which is what I like. All right, work the ball around the other side of the field. And you can see the attitude, again, the other side of the field is to get the ball in the box, with a window, and service in the box. And I think when I was watching this, you know, live... I was asking for Jack to make this run in behind. I think this is one of those situations where we got to recognize that these guys, the guy who's supposed to mark you is basically ball watching. Okay, these guys are all focused on the ball. Brennan has created enough space. Jet's occupying these two players basically with his run, you know, and had you, I think, been a little bit more aggressive trying to get into that gap as you see this open up here, right? The gap, there should be a defender here by the way, right? And this is something we need to do a better job at, right? Making sure that this, this gap does not exist between our outside back and our left, our outside uh, outside back and our center back. But we have to recognize that when other teams aren't um, positioned properly, when the ball is wide, the other weak side defenders basically are staying with their guys, which is what happens. The tendency for a lot of defenders is to stay with their players. They assume they have to mark as opposed to cover a lot of times. And I think we can do a better job here of recognizing when they are marking instead of basically covering the space that they should be in. 
of getting in on this type of ball. Because if Jet leaves that ball, you're in on goal. Right? If that ball is a little bit further to the back post, you're in on goal. It ends up being a decent effort on, on net, right? But I think we can see the space now as this is opening up for the weak side runner to get in that space in between the center back and the outside back. It's on for us to attack that, that space here with the service, both from the right and the left. So as you cut in, as a, as a player cuts in or works towards the inside of the field, the guys who are working, you know, the forward usually works to the near post, works to the, that area that's in here. You know, if the ball was on the right, you know, in this case, the ball's on the left, Jets working to that near post. And the, the guy, the attacking midfielder on the other side of the field or the forward, but typically it's the attacking midfielder that's going to get open here because this guy's marking. These guys are probably shifting to, to cover spaces and not recognizing that, that that runs are in behind them. This is your opportunity to get in that box right around here between this these two players and score a goal. All right, uh, another clip here of just building out of the back and good long direct play that, that, that breaks their pressure down. You know, good hold up play by here by Ethan, playing away from pressure, using the shield in the ball. Excellent ball here by Jake into space for Eric. Excellent ball, right? Breaks down the, all the midfielders right now. And now we've got runners in, in, uh, in on goal. The only problem here is that our spacing isn't great. I think there's a little miscommunication as to who's playing what position. I think Abel was uh, put into the left forward position, but he's actually playing a midfield right now. Had he been here, I think there would have been a, a runner on this ball. Right, that's what it would have been a dangerous ball to the back post, which I was expecting. But what I like about it is that Eric didn't waste any time. He gets his head up. He looks to serve the ball in the box, and it's decent service. Right, had we had our players in the right spots, right, we would definitely have been putting a challenge in on on this ball. Either way, we're in a good spot to win the ball back. Players are playing away from pressure, which is good. And now we now we have time. We can look to penetrate. Right, a good little combination play here by Eric. Trying to find the next pass. Doesn't necessarily come off, but I like the ideas. And good by Garrett here. This is the one time where we probably shouldn't play Garrett. <laughs> um, I probably was yelling for it because I thought Garrett was making a good run in behind. But but the principle of playing playing the way you're facing probably trumps that. Okay, and I think if Jet just received this ball to turn and shoot himself, be a little bit more selfish, you know, receive the ball going this direction and curl the ball to the back post, I think he has a chance there to shoot on goal. He ends up trying to combine, which I don't mind. You know, we're looking to play with each other, which I think is the added, right attitude to have. Um, you know, we've, we've established that as something we want to do. Team play, team ball, you know, we pass first mentality. Uh, play the way your face, you know, play what you see. Get the golf ball to the next guy is definitely what I want to encourage. Um, every once in a while, I think you got to sprinkle in just a little bit of selfishness. Take your, take your chances on goal. Take a player on things like that, and I think this is one of those instances where, if Jet, you know, had played the way he was facing, he probably would have received the ball towards the net and looked to shoot. Um, but it's a good idea either way to get the ball to Garrett. Um, but overall, I think you can see the principles: playing the way you're faced, play away from pressure, use the direct ball to break down break down a team that's trying to play in a defensive shell, especially if they're pressing up high up the field. Look to get in behind them with the ball dying the balls. This case by Jake into space for Eric. And, you know, Eric has the right attitude. He's looking to get the ball in the box early. We don't have the right numbers, but it's a good ball. We keep them in. We're able to create a number of chances here um, and good good overall play by the, the players involved. All right, here's probably their first real good chance on goal against us before they actually do score. Um, and really, it's a sloppy play by us that leads to them at least having some sustained possession. A right, good ball here by Brent into Eric. We just got to do a better job of holding the ball up and not losing it there. Uh, but he's, you know, fighting for the getting the ball back, or, you know, chasing it down. We actually win the ball back quickly. All right, we play the ball out, and this is where they're able to pick up the pieces. We don't win that second ball here, um, and they're able to play. We can't let them turn there, right? That's the first thing. Make him play backwards. Don't let him to, to turn um, back towards our own goal. Make him play, make him play backwards or sideways. Allows us to defend, and you can see a number of players here are just not putting a tackle in. All right, Eric initially. As Nick is chasing the ball down, put an arm on him, slow him down. Brendan, same thing. Jake, you know, puts a half tackle in, kind of with his back to the ball. We really need to stop the play here. And what ends up happening is that we don't. He's able to continue on. Good by him, obviously. And we're having to scramble, right? As you see, everyone's focused on the ball. All right, everyone's trying to stop the play. But at least Brent won me one in the back post, as you can see. And then as it develops, I don't think he's. I don't know if he's trying to shoot, but. Ends up getting to the number 77. He gets, you know, Tony has to make a good save here to get us out of pressure. And it really is just recognizing that 
the danger um, and stopping the play with a good strong tackle, it was needed earlier to prevent that ball into our danger you know, into our box where we have to def defend desperately to try to win the uh, to get the ball out. Ends up being a, a shot on goal that Tony has to save. Does a good job there, you know, kicking it out. But you can see that you know, poor possession by us, or at least sloppy passing by us leads to them attacking. We're not, and then once we do clear our lines, you know, our attitude of just stopping the play, making the play go backwards or sideways, forcing them backwards, isn't great. We're not, you know, we don't do a good job of stopping one player. One player basically beats four or five guys, um, and it leads to a chance on goal for them. So just wanted to highlight some you know, some of the defensive responsibilities that need to improve um, while we're playing, so that we don't you know create situations where guys are one v one in the box and it becomes down to chance now or hustle or just effort. Uh, we really need to use numbers to stop the ball earlier in the play so that it doesn't lead to a chance where we're having to play one v one. All right, here's the sequence that leads to uh, the goal against. Um, and there's really not much to it besides the fact that it's a set piece and, you know, t teams like this will live and die on that, you know, getting their chances from set pieces because they're, they're probably not likely to score on us from possession play or from just dominating, um, with, you know, scoring in a run of play, you know, these, these plays happen, right? You know, a foul here at the midfield line, they have a player who can knock the ball into the box and really it's just who can get to the ball first and we're not able to do it. So as I skip ahead. A little bit it's, you know it's a good ball to the back post it puts us under pressure Look how deep that ball is and they're able to win that ball so as you can see and I'll try to slow mode to see if there's any errors in terms of marking and really we have players in front of the player that wins the ball and a player behind the player as you can see Nick's in front probably and Brent's behind right and he's just, it's a perfect ball I mean it's a ball that lands on somebody's head basically and he's he does a good job with it can we do a better job of you know grabbing or pushing or jumping into them? Maybe, but even at the pro pro levels, this happens, right? Against you know at the highest levels, this type of play happens where the basically the ball is hit perfectly to one of their players, and we have, we can't get the ball out. Perfect finish by them, and now they're up one nothing. And I remember coming in that you know being being somewhat you know positive about this because I knew we were playing well. And as it, you know, as everyone came off the field, I know a number of players were obviously upset with what was going on, but I felt that that was much more of a fluke goal as opposed to them dominating play and, and an error made, you know, an obviously you know, an obvious area error, error made by us. It was just they happened to execute on that one play um, and score, and I felt positive going into the second half that we would be able to get it back. And I, you know, and I said whoever scored the next goal is going to win this game. And so we scored early in that second half and went on to win the game. And I think you can just see if we don't, you know, the difference between this game and Cincinnati where we went down is that we basically had to revert to, you know, playing a way that wasn't our style. Whereas in the second half of this game, I st we still maintained, maintained good possession. We still maintained good combination play. It was a little bit more, the tempo was high, but we weren't rushing. We weren't frantic. We weren't, we were playing our game. We were calm. And I think we got our goal early and that really settled the game down for us. Um, and allowed us to create more chances. And I think, you know, you see these instances, these things happen in games where we make mistakes um, or, you know, they have free kick and somebody is able to get on the end of it, but it's how you react to it. And I think we did a good job of reacting to this this play by just going out and just sticking to our game plan and doing what was working in the first half and just executing. Um, and you can see we were able to, to, to turn the game around and win the game. All right, here you can see what I mean by just the fact that right after the, they score, we nearly, you know, get a chance on goal as well, you know, and I think the added to the players, it just continue doing what we've been doing. We just need now, now we just need to execute on in the final third. Good here by able to play away from pressure. Combine instead of looking to dribble himself from this position, he's looking to combine combine with his his another player and Nick in this case. Good give and go into Jet. You know, a half chance here possibly. He gets a little bit stronger foot on that ball. That's going in the net. All right, doesn't get a clean shot off, but you can see. From this position, what good one-touch passing can do. Get the ball in, work the ball in a triangle, get the ball into our Ford's feet, let him turn and shoot, right? And it's a half chance. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily put any real you know, fear in them, but I, I like the attitude after we scored is that we're not frantic. We're moving the ball the same we were before, and we're still creating chances. And so I just wanted to highlight this, last, you know, basically the end of the half or this last clip for the first half. Um, and in a, in a positive note in terms of 
the play between players and the inner you know, interplay and the, the, the attitude we've had in t- the entire half and the entire game in terms of team ball, pass first mentality, work the ball between players, look to get your chances from that.